it's already raining <laughs> so we gotta run but i need to check on the chicks and then you know i was talking about that mulch that i could just dig up i need to finish digging that up and put it on my corn hopefully it doesn't rain too bad ah. <laughs> Everyone is alive and accounted for. They have food and I'll have to go get them some more water later today. They'll probably run out. <laughs> Why? Out of all the space that all the bugs have to fly around, they go in your face. There's a lot more now. <laughs> This is from the previous owners. I'm finding a lot of random cans all over the That is all that I actually dug up. I need to go get more. And I need to do a little bit more weeding on the other corn. Um, in the city, it was amazing. I had no weeds. Because what I did, I didn't even till my backyard. I just set down cardboard and then kind of lasagna gardened it with manure from chickens. I don't trust any other manure source uh, because there's things called grazon and broadleaf whatnots that go through the digestive system and kill your plants. Um, don't believe me? Ask any gardener around the world who is struggling with it specifically this year. Very interesting. Hi babe. Little nanny cami. <laughs> Always looking out. Hi. Hi. Yes. Let's play fairy. Fairies? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Look, I just fairy mulched my corn. And you are my fairy mulch. Okay. And this is your fairy. This is my fairy garden. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, can I show you something? Yeah. Okay, really quickly. But yeah, anyways, I just mulched it with what I got. I don't trust anything else. I, I'm not taking that risk. I'm just not. Yeah. Especially this year with the amount of claims of no i mean nobody knows what it is there's so many soil companies and organic soil companies that are trying to test and see what's in their soil that's killing other people like other gardeners plants they can't figure it out so i'm not trusting it i'm just getting it from my yard <laughs> um but yeah i want to show you something Taya. so yeah mulch that corn's a heavy feeder so i'm just trying to mulch it and get as much goodness and nutrition i mean like look how black that is compared to the soil always cover your soil can't say it enough the earth is modest if you do not cover her she will cover herself and that's why you have weeds see clearly <laughs> that is why i have weeds <laughs> i need to cover it it's driving me nuts um this what's that look that's a zinnia Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This. Oh, what's this? This is a Cosmo. Oh, yeah. It's going to bloom soon, too. But this, I'm excited for. It's going to get so big and pretty. Okay, what do you want to show me? So, this is just a lesson in patience. Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> I just chopped it. Um. But yes, a lesson in patience. I planted these at the very beginning of this month. Like, it's the 21st, 22nd. What day are we on? Are we on 22? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> my spinach is just coming up now. Like, what a lesson in patience of like, oh, I guess it's never going to work out. I just, you know, scrap the whole thing. Get rid of it. No, just need some time. So with that, I'm hopeful that my cucumbers are gonna come up. That's kind of all I'm waiting on. 
now is, well, actually my carrots too, but they're sort of coming up. Anyways, this end of the garden is a little sad. This end is beautiful because this is like where all my started plants came from and were put in. And so it got taken care of a little bit better, but over here, they're all just seeds that were in the ground so I couldn't mulch it. I can't weed it because I don't want to pull plants. So, and I don't really know where everything is yeah. or what everything is over here. It was kind of a get it in the ground, you're running out of time. So it's gonna get a little over -ran. That's okay, but look at these. Okay, again, lots of weeds, but these are sugar beets. These are regular beets. And these are sugar beets. At least I think that's what I planted here. <laughs> you can kind of see the rows. Never grown sugar beets before. Don't know what they taste like. They're just big and white. And apparently you can make sugar from them. So that's cool. That would be nice. Okay, so here's another. I wouldn't name it a failure. Just a bit of a mess. This is where I planted corn. This is not corn. <laughs> this is dandelions. A little bit of grass. I don't know where the corn is necessarily. <laughs> and I can't I can't get in here to weed it or do anything because they might wreck my corn. I'm going to definitely cardboard this. This just didn't get tilled up initially. Because um, it was just like a divot in the ground so the tiller just didn't get it. And that's okay. But I'm just going to put some cardboard on top of it and say die. Uh, <laughs> but everything else I'll probably just have to take my little back hoe and go get it all. Which by the way is probably the best garden tool ever. I should find it. It's a little back hoe and it's best. It's the best garden tool ever. It's my first probably only for now garden tool that I own. Before that I was digging in the ground with a stick and I actually did put half of these plants in with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> we got time for that. <laughs> Finally, I was like, okay, I'll splurge 30 bucks on a backhoe. And I do not regret it. Look. We're gonna have tomatoes. We're gonna have tomatoes. Oh, so many are flowering. And yeah, like I do kind of have carrots. Okay, yeah, they can kind of see that they go up the row. Yep. I'm gonna make delicious juice. I love having uh, cardboard here because I can just pick the weeds and throw them in there. Mom, See, that's why you mulch. See how easy that thing, whole root just came up? Okay, but as much as these are determinant tomatoes, you do kind of have to prune them. Only because. Ah! prune them with uh, shears next time savannah that was not only because and you'll see so many videos of like don't prune your determinant tomatoes yeah but if the leaves are on the ground they're gonna get diseased and die so you do need to take those bottom leaves off if well if but yeah for the most part take them off if they're touching the ground um another and again this isn't like a failure it just happens and i'm not sure what to do about it but I have discovered a new pest in the garden, and it is called the cabbage fly. Cabbage fly. There's leaf beetles, which come after your cabbages. And then apparently there's this fly that lays eggs in the roots. And then when the eggs hatch, the little maggots eat the roots. That's what's happening. Yesterday I posted a video and I was like, oh, this one clearly needs water. No. No. <laughs> no. It's just being eaten, which sucks. Oh, he doesn't look happy. Is he ruined? Uh, I think so, but I don't want to pull too hard just in case. He looks pretty ruined though. That really sucks. Yeah, and I had one of them out of this area that came out too. Dang it! it's not the leaf beetles it's apparently these flies and yeah I see them they're like all over the ground it's nasty my grapes are coming to life looking fantastic this one is looking really nice but this one 
I mean, you can't even see it. There's nothing on it. it is a stick. <laughs> so I prayed over it. The only one that can bring dead things to life is Jesus. So <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> oh, Cammie, you're getting soaked. You are getting soaked. You're be gross. Oh, yeah, you're wet. We are getting our second wood storage shed put up. And we got a lot of wood to chop. And that's just the beginning. So it looks like, yeah, this is pretty much, just needs to be put together now. My trees. I'm so glad that it's been raining because I did not want to water them. Mm -mm. I hate watering things. <laughs> it's not fun. I would sooner pull weeds than water something. I feel like this apple needs to just come off. It was damaged, so no point of the tree putting energy into it. But it looks like all the apples have pretty much come off these trees anyways. I wanted to keep some on to see if they would grow, but either they were already damaged or my kids pulled them off and ate them. Yes, ate them. They ate small, hard green apples and they thought they were delicious. So there actually is a compound in immature apples that is extremely healthy for you. I don't know what it's called though. I can't remember, but I know that it is good for you to eat unripe apples and ripe apples. Oh, there's one here. Please don't be damaged. Oh, yes. Ha ha. I'm keeping it. No one can make me take it off, which kind of is this prairie magic. Cool. So yeah, see my leaning tree? I need to zip tie it. It's a uh, pretty leaning. It needs to come all the way back up here. <laughs> Whoopsies. And then this one. This is probably going to be my most favorite spot in this food forest. Is like this little circle area with a nice, beautiful tree in the middle and my asparagus growing. I have a bunch of raspberries and strawberries, just wild ones, out in the back that I might just dig up and put in here um, around the trees and throughout. I think that would be really cool to, to have those and then I don't have to buy any. And I got a lot of strawberries that I can easily access because the ones that are out back, I can't easily access them. But there are a few on the fence line that I keep checking, waiting, waiting for them to be ripe. My goodness, look at these. And then there's this whole field full of them. Oh, I can't even capture it on this camera. It's just beautiful and purple and pink. Okay, does anybody know? Are these red clovers? Like they're a little bit white. They're not fully red. I think they are. Those are definitely red clovers. I'm gonna be foraging for those. The one I picked up was a little old. And you don't really wanna pick flowers in the rain all the bugs are hiding in them for shelter. And then you just picked a bunch of bugs. Hey, let's go inside. It's starting to rain really bad. <laughs> I know, but I don't really want to play fairies in the rain. And did you know that if fairies get their wings wet, they can't fly? Oh. Yeah. Cammy, come on. Okay, well, we mulch the corn. I need to go give the chickens water. Can't forget that. As always, I hope you try something new.